So I thought I'd share a cool video with you today. So I found this TV on the side of the road that said it was free, and I thought, okay, there must be something wrong with it. Either the LCD's bad, or things are gonna need to be replaced. Something's gotta be wrong if someone's offering this for free. And lo and behold, I got home, turned it on, and that's what I saw. And I tested the audio, everything works just fine. And I was scratching my head, figuring, trying to wonder why this TV was free, until I noticed, lo and behold, I don't know how I missed this, this cord was spliced, so I have no idea who did this work. I don't trust it, even though the TV is on working. So what I'm going to do is show you how to kind of better repair this more than duct tape and show you how to do that today. So to fix the, or to better secure, I guess, make that splice a little bit safer, the tools you'll need for this job include wire cutters and strippers, um, an electrical tester, A, to test to ensure there's no power, um, but also to see which one's the hot and the neutral. Not a foolproof method, but it is a, it is a method. A uh, multimeter will be better. Some electrical tape, some uh, a utility knife so you can score away the, score into and cut away the insulation around the wires, um, like this, this black sheeting around the outside of the wires. And lastly, you'll need um, some wire nuts. Um, this set is awesome from Harbor Freight, super cheap, and it comes with a whole assortment. So with that in mind, um, this is all you should need. Let's jump into the video. So let's get the disclaimers out of the way. I'm not an electrician, just a DIYer, so just know that um, this is a dangerous thing if you don't know how to use electricity and work around it. So just be smart. Um, if you don't feel safe attempting this, don't. Um, just This video is mostly for educational purposes. But just thought I'd show you in case you do have wires that are all cut up or maybe some of the insulation is exposed, some of those wires, and you're worried that it might be safe and unsafe to be around or in case somebody touches it, let's show you how to kind of seal that up properly. So what I'm going to do first here is I want to figure out which side is the hot. Now because this plug is only two-pronged, and I'll show you that in a minute here, I can know that there's only gonna be a hot wire and a neutral wire. So what I'm gonna do is with it plugged in, and again, this really only works if your wire is safe to work on, quote unquote. So I'm gonna get my little electrical tester here. And as you can see, there's two sides here. So I'm gonna put it on one side. Okay, so nothing on the right side. Okay, left side. Now, keep in mind, these voltage testers are not perfect um, assessments of electricity in the current. So obviously another disclaimer is, you know, this is not a foolproof method. This is still, there's better ways, especially using a multimeter to check the wires for um, all those different sorts of tests. But for the quick and dirty job I'm going to do today, um, because there are the only two wires, I'm going to take a chance and just base it off hot and neutral. So test that one more time here. See? On the other side here, nothing. And then because it does curve around, so I know that this side right here is the hot. Okay, and it looks like it's still there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mark this side of the cable and here, so I know that where the hot is. Just in case the wires aren't color coded, they should be, um, the insulation around them when I cut this off, but just a way to save yourself some time by knowing and identifying which one's the hot and the neutral before you get started. So one more time, hot on the right side, on the left side here, and then on this curve, looks like it's also on the right side. So left side here, right side here. So I just used some white out to mark those. You can use tape or something else. Obviously don't score the wire, that's a bad idea. But just to show you a third time, checking at multiple spots, just to ensure it's not a Miss, um, miss reading here. So I got those marked. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the plug on the TV here so that the electricity won't be flowing through. And now what I'm going to do next is splice open this hopeful uh, not disaster and see what it's like under there. Just going to use a piece of cardboard to cut underneath um, just so I don't obviously cut through my carpet. Actually, it looks like I can just pull this off, which I would prefer to do. 
so I don't cut through any of the insulation on the wires. Do you see that? They use electrical tape as wire nuts. Don't do that. That's dangerous. Glad I checked this because that is not a good connection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this off, put some wire nuts on there, and make this look better. Now what I'm doing is I'm just unraveling the wires between the two connections just so I can kind of see what's going on here and work from something a little bit cleaner than this. So that side you can obviously see we got a white and a black. Black is our hot. So as you can see that coincides with my white paint. So we're good there. Um, honestly these don't look too, too bad but I might cut these and strip off this insulation here just so I have something fresh to work from just because this wire is pretty cheap and poor. And then on the cord side it's a lot thicker so I'm wondering if yeah, and look how I think we lost some wire between the two. So I'm going to cut back. I don't want to, but I'm going to cut back here and down here just to give a fresh start. I'm just going to use my handy dandy utility knife here to cut between the two wires. So, get you a better idea here. So I'm going to cut between these two wires. Cut that black insulation back just so I can expose the white and the black insulation underneath. So just an update, I figured it'd be faster to show you updates rather than showing you step by step. But essentially what I'm doing is I'm cutting between the two wires. So you can see the black one here. So we have this thick black sheet of insulation which you usually see on cords. And inside there's a secondary layer of insulation on our hot wire. And then underneath here, if you can kind of see, there's going to be that white wire. So I got that black wire now exposed. So now I'm going to cut this side open and get that white wire exposed out too. So you can see here now I have the black and the white insulation exposed on the plug end. So I'm going to pull this back a little bit more, snip off this top end, strip a little bit more of these wires down so I can fit a wire nut over the, the exposed wire. So I'll do that and we should be going on our next steps. And just be careful, take your time when you're trying to take off this black sheath to expose these two insulated wires. Um, because if you nick the insulation, then you're going to need to keep going um, down more because unless you're planning to take off that insulation, either from the neutral here or the hot, um, you just don't want any un uh, you don't want any exposed wire that isn't going to be covered by the wire nut. So just some advice. Take your time when you're trying to strip away this black sheeting and you should be good. All right. So there we go. Plug side. I've got these two wires now. Obviously, they're way too long. Um, I'm going to use my wire nut as a gauge for how long these need to be. And you want the exposed copper to go through, and you don't want any exposed wire. So, obviously, this is way too long. So, what I'm going to do now 
is first off clean up this by just kind of swirling it together so it looks like an actual nice tidy wire and then your wire strippers should have a cutter on them mine is duller than anything so I'm just gonna use this other cutter all right how's that looking okay might have taken off a little bit too much but really you don't need too too much you just want it to fit in the inside that little wire nut so I'm gonna clean up this neutral wire here same thing I cut it and I'll cut it a little bit longer this time just so I have more to work with in case I do end up needing more all right and just like that one side is done at least with the wire side now we're gonna work on the TV side of the wire so because these look really skinny I'm gonna cut back some of the sheathing here and take off some of this insulation because this is definitely missing some Plenty. So I'm going to cut off this excess outer sheathing. Okay, now I'm going to strip these two wires back using my wire strippers. What you do is find the right gauge for the wire, put it in. And then just rotate it back and forth like this so it cuts the insulation and then push away. Okay. Should be easier. Come on. There we go. So just like that, sheathing is off, and look how. Okay, let's see if I can get you to see the difference. I mean, look at the thickness between there and practically nothing there. So I'm going to keep stripping a little bit more back here, so we got more to work with. Very good. Same thing to the other side now. All right. Now, I'm just gonna cut these back a little bit so they're shorter. Nice and cleaned up. I'm going to straighten those or roll those again just so we have nice connections. As you can see, nice and clean and tidy and a lot thicker. And now, so that's on the TV side. Here is on the cord side. So now it's just as simple as putting black to black and white to white. And you're going to want to make sure that the wires are the same lengths, or at least close enough to it. So here we got the neutrals. This one's a little bit long, so I'm going to cut it back just a hair. Okay. Now, make sure my wire nut will go over all the exposed wire. That looks good can't see anything so now 
what I'm going to do is first start wrapping these neutrals around each other like that just so they don't come untangled while I'm getting ready to go. Now put the wire nut over and start tightening. Give them a little tug. The wire nut should not come off, nor should the wires come out. So it looks like we are good to go almost on that one. I just like making sure this cannot go anymore. So that feels good. Now we'll go on the other side here. Same thing. So neutrals are done, or excuse me, yeah, the neutrals are done. So now you want to get these two hots. So same deal. Might need to actually strip away more, but we'll see. Make sure you do cut enough between the two wires, the, the enough, of, enough of the external insulation so that these wires have some room to them. So I need to pull back more here so I can work with these. Okay, I'm gonna do the same on this side. There's not a lot of room to work with. Okay, so now I'm going to get these blacks started to intertwine here. And then let's get another wire knot on those. You know, actually, I did feel like this bigger. One, this one was a little too big. I like the these blue ones. I think they fit better with this gauge of wire. Make sure no exposed wires coming out of the ends of either of these wire nuts. It's looking good to me. So now we're almost done here. Obviously, this is not safe to put into a wall or anything like that because these, you know, two connections could come loose. So personally, if there's a splice or a tear in one of your cords and you can replace the entire cord. Like let's say the cord just goes into the TV and you can buy a replace one, just do that. It's safer, you don't have to worry about it. But if you just need something temporary to work, this is this is okay. Um, but I wouldn't go putting this in the back of a wall or something or relying on this forever. Personal, personal. I mean, I have definitely seen people uh, wire nut cords on tools and keep on going, and they last and they are safe. But up to you. So now that these are quickly wired, we have our white here with our white, all wire nutted and no exposed wire. And we have our black, our hot, all wire nutted up. What I'm gonna do now is put some electrical tape around the neutral, around the hot, and then once I have these individually wrapped in electrical tape, I'm gonna wrap the whole thing, okay? Again, just to keep these from falling off or touching each other, and I guess also make it look somewhat nice. All right, so now these two wires are in, or these two uh, junctions I made with the wire nuts are wrapped. And now I'll just kind of wrap them together 
so they don't rip apart or somewhat look uh, uniform here. So I'll do that. I'm actually going to switch it up a bit because if I have these two right next to each other, it's going to be really bulky. So I'm going to bend it like that and then wire that or tape that whole thing. All right, it's not perfect, but there it is. Now more safe in my mind that connection than what it was before with just the electrical tape by itself so let's test our work so i'll plug it in get this all out of the way here comes the test push the power button and voila, looks like that worked. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. Again, this is not a, a permanent repair. This is just something temporary until you can get a new cord or figure out what you want to do with your TV. I mean, it does work. But ultimately, I mean, if you're putting those wires in your kids or they have access to them, they could pull on the connection, it could come apart. It's just not ideal for uh, longevity and for safety as it goes there. Um, however, just if you need a quick fix for this or other electronics uh, and their cords, just thought I'd show you that. Any questions, again, put them in the comment section below. Appreciate you watching. Again, take this with a grain of salt. I'm not an electrician, just a DIYer, so this is dangerous. Um, but you know, it does work and, uh, see you in the next video.